You may or may not realize that when you start a workbench, the tools that are highlighted are tools that can be initialized now, and the tools that are grayed out are tools that require some additional elements, entities, whatever, or some kind of preparation before you can use them. So I'm in Part Design Workbench. I'm going to look at three tools, the Pad tool, the Rib tool, and the multi-section solid tool. I don't have a sketch. If you look at the specification tree, I don't have anything in the specification tree yet, so I have not created any geometry, but yet I can select the sketch-based pad tool. The sketch-based pad tool requires a sketch. When I select it, the two highlighted fields that appear with a blue background are the two fields that are most commonly selected first. Number one in the middle there is the profile selection. In other words, the sketch that's going to define the shape of the solid. And number two is what is my limit one limit or what is the displacement from the sketch plane that I'm going to use or I should say, what is the displace, displacement from the plane on which the sketch lies that's going to be used to create the solid material? So, for example, if I'm thinking in terms more initially of specifications rather than sizing and shape, I'm going to open up more here. I'm going to give a second limit value, the second limit being on the opposite side of the sketch plane. And... When I go to make my selection for the profile, still don't have a sketch, but beside that is a tool. When I select it, that is the sketch tool within the pad command. So this sketch-based command allows me to create a sketch while I have that particular command initialized. You see what's called a running commands dialog to show you that you're in pad one you're in the pad tool creating pad one. I see pad one in the specification tree and you're creating a sketch from within that. So I just go about my business doing the sketch. If I look in my prompt area in the lower left, it says select the sketch plane. I'm going to select the sketch plane. I'm just going to create a very simple profile of a circular profile. And then when I exit Sketcher, the way I normally would if I was doing the sketch first, I automatically get the solid created and I'm back into the pad definition dialog. My running commands dialog is gone because I was only one level deep in this process and therefore I'm just going to go back to the pad command and this is as if I had created the sketch initially and I'm moving on from there. Now let's cancel this and just take a look at some variations on this theme. If I look at the rib tool, select it, and I have two sketch icons. Therefore, I can create not only the profile or the sketch that's going to determine the sizing and the shape of the profiles that are going to the profile that's going to be used for this rib. But I also can use another sketch, a second sketch, to create the center curve. And therefore, I've got two selections over here, one by each of those fields to create sketches. Cancel out of there. And the final one that we're going to look at right now is multi-section solid. Select the tool. Hmm. I look around. I don't see more down here. I don't see that little sketch icon. Well, what do you do when you want to know what you can do in a particular area of a command or in a particular selection from within a command or outside of a command, quite frankly, specification tree, whatever? You place the cursor there. You right-click, third mouse button, and it shows you all the things that you can do from here. And there's my create sketch at the top of the list. So I can actually start creating the sketches. Now, this is a hybrid in terms of what I'm trying to tell you you have the ability to do in that I don't have the ability to create different offset sketch planes that I would normally use to create a multi-section solid. If I cancel out of here, I see that point, line, and sketch are three tools three 3D tools, I should say, so to speak, that, uh, that allow me to use them 
before I can do anything else. So the pad tool, all it needs is a sketch. I can go right to it, give the specifications for the solid, then create the sketch and hop back, hop back uh, into the pad tool to see the, uh, the, the, the type of creation that I'm gonna do. The second one has two abilities, one for the profile and one for the center curve for the rib command. And then in this one, I'm gonna create multiple sections well, uh, two, two to, uh, to, to infinity number of sections to create the solid. So this is a hybrid whereby I will know very quickly that I have to create the, those planar references first because I can't get to the plane command from within the, the uh, tool itself.